Firstly, what is AI? I think all of you are newbies, or maybe some of you have some experience in artificial intelligence, but some of, of the newbies probably don't know what is AI, and we have to know that before introducing that into, into the classroom. So I give a couple of ideas that what is uh, like the machine learning. The machine learning is just uh, is a bit different from humans. It just analyzes lots and lots of data and give solutions uh, with that training, uh, okay? So uh, they are supposed that have learned from all the experience of all that, that database and later they take some decisions. It just, for example, uh, uh, if you have, you have seen Wally, -E, it is just the same idea. If this robot, uh, for uh, th those uh, pictures are, are, are uh, the same as mine, but I created with artificial intelligence, so I can call this is my robot. It's not mine because of those royalty laws. But okay, this robot. Imagine that I train with thousands and thousands of pictures of forks, and I train the same robot with thousands and thousands of pictures of spoons, and there are uh, forks and spoons of different materials, different sizes, and everything. So if the robot have to know what is a spork, mm -hmm. a spork is the name of that uh, that one that we have just uh, here in the slide, is uh, in, in the middle in the middle way between a, in a spoon and also a, a fork. So if I hadn't trained this uh, artificial intelligence before, uh, the the percentage of uh, accurate that is going to be is it says that. 40% spoon, 40% uh, uh, fork, but have no idea or no clue what is that because you're not training that. If you got that, probably you will understand the rest of, of the things I'm going to, to, say, to tell you. The thing is that uh, last year it was incredible from all the, all the things that appear in artificial intelligence. Uh, it was like once a month, later once a week, and later once a day. So it was impossible to follow. And also during December, ChatGPT, which is a very well known, they have received a lot of requests. We were training that uh, artificial intelligence. We were giving uh, that artificial intelligence data to grow. So with those numbers that we have here in the slides, we can say that the, the, the monster has grown a lot. No, it's not a monster. It's that the, all the data is now really, really big because of thousands of millions of people asking things and, and, and so on. So are we ready for that? Are we ready that, as a teachers? Are we ready to live together with it, this technology in the classroom? AI tools, there are many, 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 many. Uh, maybe uh, you say that uh, chat GPT was from December. Maybe uh, artificial intelligence started many years ago uh, from, I think it was uh, April of the last year. It was really well growing. Later in September, it was impossible to follow, and in December, it exploded everything because of ChatGPT. But okay, all the other algorithms uh, they they were previously done. ChatGPT is the the third version right now, and it is supposed that this week uh, <laughs> it is announced by Microsoft that it will appear ChatGPT4. So everything is going so fast, and ChatGPT4 is going to be like millions of times better than the other one. So okay, we have to know that there are lots of tools. And it is present, it's in, it is not uh, near future. So I will give you like four ideas, uh, to try to, uh, not to prevent, but to be ready for this change. The first thing is that, okay, this is a turning point of the history of technology. Uh, all the technology have been changing. We started with no computer, later computer, later everything. And now this is a turning point from last year, and probably 2023. It's going to be also another uh, amazing year that everything changed. It is said by uh, many, many users that the software which we normally use to create videos, to create pictures, and to create everything is now going to be changed by that generative AI, those uh, the, the, that artificial intelligence that create pictures, create everything. If I go to the previous slide, uh, okay, you can take from text. You, you, you can obtain text, you can obtain pictures, video, 3D, audio, and whatever. So probably uh, in the next future, uh, everything changes with, with these new possibilities that makes your life easier. The second idea is learn about it right now. 
why right now? Okay, I have my family, my kids and everything. So, okay, why is right now I have to take money from my life? Because not right now, uh, our advantage is that is right now boosting. So we have to like take the train. Later the train is going faster, but we have to know, at least to know what happens with, with this artificially or how it's growing. And uh, in that way, I created uh, some tutorials. I will put the link in the in the chat. And these are some tutorials. I see. I, I have seen that there are many Spanish people. These tutorials are in Spanish, so thank, uh, congratulations to you. But the rest, you can put some titles. And this is like to learn some tools uh, in different levels. There are some basic ones, some medium ones, and some advanced ones that at least you you should know about that. I don't know if you can use them, but uh, if not. You can uh, at least know that that they, they they can be used. This is the third idea: test the tools. You have to test them. Don't don't be don't be afraid of that. Uh, okay, you are giving uh, you are feeding the mustard with with those price, but at least you know how they work. We have uh, different tools like Baidu, or Lambda, or, or ChatGPT. They're very well known. But I'm going to pay attention in this one because Bing is uh, like one month ago everything started at Microsoft bought for many, many money uh, the OpenAI, and at the end, everything is integrated in Bing. Everything changed, three questions, now 10 questions, and everything changed. And now, as I told you, GPT-4 will ap appear here. So we have to pay attention with that, because with that, you may write a whole book in a day, or maybe you will create a, a whole movie, also with the same technology. It's not just pieces of things. So maybe this is going bigger, so pay attention to those uh, browsers and those, those installations. And also, uh, the thing is that artificial technology is really, is probably is better than humans to curate content, to analyze data. Uh, it's really fast, it's all algorithms. And the fourth and more, most important idea of this, uh, think, adapt, and redefine. Think about uh, and adapt and redefine as a teacher. We have to think what assignments we put in the class. Uh, we have to go, I think, in my opinion, to high order thinking schemes of the blue taxonomy because the rest is probably getting lost right now. So we have to go to the top things. Instead of a, a substitution of the thing, we have to redefine the thing with the new technologies that arrive. So these are some learning theories that we have to consider when thinking to use this in the classroom. And also, uh, okay, probably this technology is new, but we have uh, adapted as a teachers to many, many technologies that are, have appeared before. Because we uh, adapted to, to from paper to, to computers to a new thing to something really fast to mobile phones, and now this is another change and another step that we have to consider. So rethink your teaching, uh, rethink your teaching process is the best I, idea I, uh, you can think in any of the subjects because you are professional in your subject so you have to adapt to that think how to assess the thing uh, how to assess the process think what they are going to learn and think about the learning process that you have to guide and facilitate as a teacher